Everyone needs a headshot, and here's why. One, your headshot is your first impression that you have uh, typically on social media or maybe even Zoom and or Teams. It's a little avatar that you have that when you join a meeting, it's a little picture that you have in your LinkedIn profile or your YouTube profile. So it's very important to have a good headshot, but no one really wants to go to a professional photographer and have five changes of clothing and, and sit in front of a bunch of cameras and spend hours doing that. You just want a headshot that works for you and you can do it pretty easy on your own. So in this quick video, let's just create our own headshot and see how we do. So the first thing you need is a camera. Really, I'm using a DSLR camera for this example, but you can literally just use your iPhone or Android phone. The cameras are really good. They're 4K. They're more than powerful enough to have a great headshot. Second, good lighting. Make sure you have some good lighting. I have a good key light set up at an angle so it creates some shadows on my face. I also have a fill light in the back so I can create some nice little shadows on the backside. But just use any lighting that works for you. The better the lighting, the better the picture. Now, don't worry about your background. We're gonna change all that in the coming tools that we're gonna use. So just get in front of anything and start shooting a whole bunch of pictures. Let's go. And while you're shooting all your pictures, make sure you're looking at the lens of the camera. You want your eyes right into the center of the camera. So when people look at your picture, they think you're looking at them. So we just took a bunch of pictures, take as many as you want, they're free. So just get a whole bunch of them so you can choose which one looks best later. So now that we've got all our pictures, let's go to the tool that I'm gonna use to make our headshot. It's called Canva. Canva has a ton of tools built in that can make some really incredible professional looking headshots. I actually have the paid version, but there's also a free version that you can use in case you just wanna use this to make your new headshot. All right, let's put on our glasses here cause I'm old and let's go to Canva. I use Canva for a lot of things like YouTube thumbnails and to create headshots. I also use it to design my art and my clips and my GIFs and my JPEGs. It's a really powerful tool, but we're just gonna use it to create a new picture. So open up Canva and go to create a design. Top left hand corner. And here you're gonna have a ton of different design choices, but you typically just want a square headshot. So I'll just do a custom design. So custom size, and you can just do 1920 by 1920. You just want a square picture. Create new design. Okay, now we have a square design. Now we need to upload all our pictures. So go to the uploads icon on the far left navigation bar. So here are all the headshot pictures I took. Let's just upload them all at the same time. So we're just gonna drag and drop them into uploads. And boom, all of our pictures are appearing on the left side here. So after they're uploaded, just pick one that you think looks great and drag and drop it into your workspace. We'll just do the first one here. So you can see that our picture is in a 16 by nine format and we need it into a square format. So we're gonna need to resize this picture and you can do that just by dragging and dropping the borders on the side. Now we need to make it go whole square here. And great, now we have our picture set. And now we don't want that background. So let's remove the background with a cool feature in Canva called Background Remover. Click on it and you can see Background Remover or BG Remover right here. Click on that. It's gonna use AI to remove that background for you. Great, now we have a blank canvas we can work from. We didn't want that background because it wasn't professional. So let's now create a cool background that looks a little bit more professional. So on the left navigation bar, go ahead and click on the elements icon. Now type in a color that you want. For example, I'm wearing a blue shirt, so let's just type in blue background. Now you're gonna have a whole bunch of different choices for blue background. Pick whenever one works for you. I'll just drag the first one over just as an example. And you wanna resize that to the size of your square. But now you just covered yourself up. So how do we layer this? You just right click on it and go to layers. And you wanna send that backwards. And boom, okay, now we've layered it so it's behind the picture, obviously. We don't want that in front. But now let's even add some more elements. This actually looks pretty good, but we can make it look even better. So again, let's click on the picture and then we're gonna go to edit. We're gonna edit this picture right here. So a great way to make it look even better is to add some shadows to the picture. So guess what? Click on the shadows icon on the left side here. And now you're gonna get a bunch of shadow choices. So I like to use the drop shadow, but use whatever works best for you. The drop shadow looks cool for me. So now we've clicked on the shadow, you can see that it's actually raised the picture. Again, we wanna put that at the very bottom because it's created that shadow. And you can see right here that it created some shadows of my torso and my face. If that looks good, click save. If not, play with it a little bit. You can blur the amount here. You can change the angle of it. 
Maybe you want the angle on the right side. And this is a good idea because where my key light's at is typically where my shadow is going to be on the opposite side. Having it on the front side of your key light doesn't really make much sense. So I'm going to change that shadow to go behind me and to the left, which would be correct if my key light was on my left side. Now you can change the distance of the shadow. I don't like to be crazy, but you want to create just a little cinematic effect here. And then you can create the intensity of the shadow. You can see it's a pretty hard line right here. So you can adjust that as well. So in a few minutes, I've created a pretty decent looking headshot just from my camera in my office using Canva. There's no hard or fast rules here. Use whatever works for you. Change the background color, change the shadows, change the angle. This is your time to shine with your artistic value. I like to have my face and my torso a little bit of an angle and then have that shadow again right behind me. I think that looks the best. But again, no zero or one, you can do whatever works for you. So now to save it, just go to share on the top right hand corner here. And then I like to download it and I like to leave it as a PNG file, but you can change it to JPEG, do whatever you want. But I like to leave it as a PNG and that way I can upload it to whatever platform I need to have a new headshot. Headshot five. And just like that, we have a brand new headshot. And now this headshot can be used anywhere. For example, let's update our headshot in Zoom really quickly. Go to my profile. Go to go to my account, my profile right here. I'm gonna to go to my profile in Zoom. Now we're in my profile of my admin portal. Let's just click on edit to edit our picture. And we wanna change it. We wanna choose. We wanna choose the headshot five that we just created. So now we've tried to change the picture in Zoom, but you can see that there's an error saying, hey, your picture needs to be less than two megs. So let me show you how to quickly how to change that picture size. So we've opened the picture from the download section where we just downloaded it and let's go into preview. Of course, this is on a Mac. It's different on Windows, but you can figure it out. What we're going to do is export this into a JPEG file. To change the size of the picture, just go to JPEG and now look at the size right here. I need a file size of less than two so I can keep dragging to the best until I get less than two. That's three. That's not going to work. Let's bump it down a little bit. 1.2. That'll work. Save. So now we have our, our picture on the desktop. Let's go back into our portal and change it there. Change, choose, desktop, headshot. Done. Save it. Now let's go to our Zoom client. You can see in the top right hand corner, my headshots change the new headshot we just created. You can do the same thing in Teams. Here's my Teams client. Let's click on it again and then hit view account. So here's my Microsoft profile. Let's go ahead and click on that little change button. We want to change the photo. Headshot number five. Done. Hit save. So in the Zoom world, this is immediate, but in the Microsoft world, it takes a little while to replicate across to all the platforms, but just be patient. It'll show up on the right-hand side sooner or later. You can do the same thing on LinkedIn. Just click on your profile picture. We want to add a profile, upload a picture, headshot number five, done. Hit save. Now, if you looked on my LinkedIn profile, you'll see the new headshot that I created in a few minutes using just some simple tools like Canva. That was pretty easy, right? So now you have no excuse for having a bad headshot. I've showed you all the things needed to create a really professional level headshot for all your social media platforms, as well as your virtual meetings platforms. So I hope that video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, leave some comments down below. I'm Patrick Kelly, The Tattooed Nerd.